Progress on the City of Saskatoon Interchange project continues at both the McCormick Drive and College Drive site and the Boychuck Drive and Highway 16 site. Detour roadways at both sites opened in 2017. These detours divert northbound and southbound traffic away from the interchange locations. PCL has completed major drainage installations and placed the substructure concrete at both sites while minimizing the impact on traffic to and from the neighboring communities. The McGorman Drive and College Drive Interchange is scheduled to open October 2018, while the Boychuck and Highway 16 Interchange is expected to open in July 2019. Following completion of the detour roadway, site crews removed sections of McCormick Drive both north and south of the interchange location while providing continuous access to surrounding neighborhoods and businesses. Consideration was also given to wildlife as crews postponed work on the south detour roadway while protected bird species were actively nesting on site. Once the detour road opened, storm sewers were installed under the old McCormick Drive South, which now directs flows to the Southeast Stormwater Retention Pond. Excavation of this pond was completed in November of 2017. A new connection to the existing storm sewer trunk line allows any overflow from this pond to enter the storm sewer system. During the summer and fall of 2017, the ground around the interchange approaches was stabilized with the installation of 240 rock columns. The overpass structure also began with the placement of 21 concrete belled piles, each drilled up to 20 meters in the ground and extending over 4 meters above ground. Leading up to an October completion, the focus at the McCormick site will be on completing major earthworks operations, including embankments at either end of the overpass and all entrance and exit ramps connecting to College Drive. Despite an early winter, PCL has continued to advance cast-in-place concrete work while adhering to winter work protection measures. Construction of the overpass is underway with concrete supporting structures completed in 2017. In January 2018, crews worked on installing sets of bearing pads. Each girder will rest on two bearing pads, one at either end of the girder. 56 girders will be installed over the south and north lanes of College Drive. Girders arrived on the McCormick site in March 2018. As girders are put into place, the new interchange truly begins to take shape. To ensure the safety of the public during this activity, traffic can expect to use specially constructed crossover roadways shown here as crosses between the College Drive lanes. These will allow traffic to be detoured to the opposite side of College Drive from where the girders are being placed. After the girders are in place, crews will begin building up the Mechanically Stabilized Earth Wall, or MSE walls, at the north and south sides of the structure. These vertical walls hold back the earth built up to the overpass, supporting the roadway above and allowing traffic to pass safely underneath. Once all roadways north of College Drive are completed, traffic will travel in both directions on the newly constructed McCormick Drive northbound lanes, enabling the removal of the North Detour Roadway and beginning of construction on the future southbound McCormick Drive lanes. Commuters will have noticed a berm constructed to manage water at the Boychuck Drive and Highway 16 site. During routine water sampling in advance of commencing dewatering activities, PCL discovered exceedances of various elements beyond the Saskatchewan Surface Water Guidelines. To address this condition, PCL utilized special water filtration systems to responsibly pump the surface water to the storm system. Earthworks activities will begin again in early 2018 with a focus on completing the mass fill areas and all entrance and exit ramps connected to Highway 16. This includes a loop ramp that will alleviate eastbound Highway 16 traffic attempting to turn northbound on Boychuck Drive. This is accomplished by eliminating the requirement to cross highway traffic and by altering a left turn lane at a signalized intersection to become a free flow right turn lane off the loop ramp. Unique geotechnical conditions required modifications to the foundation design and bulk earthworks management plan. Here, ground conditions were addressed with continuous site dewatering during the installation and lancing of 200 rock columns. Each rock column is up to 2.1 meters in diameter and buried approximately 15 meters deep in the ground. Boychuck saw the completion of their South MSE retaining wall and the majority of the North MSE wall in 2017. The remainder of the North wall will be completed when the detour roadway is removed later in the project. 
The MSE walls consist of precast concrete panels that are put in place one layer at a time and then secured with up to 21-foot grid straps that are buried with engineered fill. This way, the earth placed and compacted behind each panel supports the wall itself. Overpass construction is underway with the concrete supporting structure placement completed in 2017. The structures shown here will support the overpass, which will have four lanes and a slightly shorter span than found at the McCormand site. The public can expect to see girders arriving on the Boychuk site in the spring of 2018. Crossover roadways have been constructed on either side of the detour intersection and will be used to direct traffic to the opposite side of Highway 16 from where girders are being placed, ensuring public safety during this activity on site. The Boychuk Drive project includes the reconstruction of Township Road 362 at the south project limits. The new Township Road will connect with Range Road 3050 further south of the existing intersection to accommodate fills for the south overpass structure. During construction of the new Township Road, PCL has worked in conjunction with the nearby Amadia Mosque to maintain continual access to this facility. As the earthworks are completed at the Boychuk and Highway 16 interchange, sub-base and base aggregate will be placed on the roadways prior to paving. Before either site's interchange is open to the public, permanent street lighting, pavement markings, traffic signals and signage will be installed. The Boychuk Interchange Project is on track for completion in July of 2019. More information on the Saskatoon Interchange Project can be found online at saskatoon.ca slash interchanges.